So the best way to use this vaccine initially is obviously to target people who are at highest risk of serious complications and of dying from COVID. But after that, and particularly if we find that the vaccine also reduces infection, i.e. I. it can stop spread it, the spread of infection in the community, another way of using the vaccine might be to vaccinate healthier, younger people. Uh, and that might not only protect those individuals, but protect their friends and families and reduce spread of COVID in the community. So once we've offered the vaccine to those people who are at highest risk of having serious complications or dying from the infection, then I think the next phase would be to potentially use the vaccine in a wider group of the population, the working age population. And that will be particularly important if we find out that the vaccine does actually prevent people passing the infection on. Then if we're able to vaccinate a large number of the population, a large proportion of the population, there is a real op opportunity to interrupt spread of the infection in the community. And that will allow us to go back to a much more normal type of life. We can stop the social distancing and potentially go back to normal activities again. So once we start vaccinating the younger adults, then there may be some occupations that we choose to do first. That might include people who are mixing more often, for example, teachers, people working in public facing, public facing settings like shops on public transport. And if we're able to reduce spread by vaccinating that younger population, then there is a real chance that we could end this pandemic.